Side's really heavy. Yeah, the other side? Okay. Side's heavy. <laughs> my name is Becca. I'm gonna be your boat driver. So we're gonna have a good time on the lake. Okay, so. Well, you're on the lake anyway. <laughs> Why wouldn't you get wet? Uh, they're a rainbow trout. Oh, really? Uh huh. Only one kind? Yep, rainbow trout. It's the only Ooh. thing down here. We're moving. We're moving. If you want to fill the water, you may do so. The water's 56 degrees all year round. Really? If you do stick your hand in the water, your hand feels smooth. Yeah. That's because of the high contents of minerals that make up the water. It's kind of like lotion. Right. The water's 56 degrees all year round. Nice. We do have some water running down in the cave. It's an aerator. It's like an, it gives the fish oxygen, kind of like a, a filter in a fish tank. Um, there are some steps going in the water at the end of our dock. Back in 2007, Lost Sea suffered a severe drought. Due to lack of rainfall in the valley of East Tennessee, we lost 29 feet of water in the lake. We became the lost puddle. We had to use the steps to get down to the lake and back up. The water's back up to normal, so now we're fine. I, 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 okay. Um, in 1965, we had some uh, divers that came down here. They found a hole five feet above the bottom, somewhere along the left wall. They went in this hole 800 feet to their lifeline, ran out. They sent out sonar to see how big the room was they went into. Two walls came back, two walls did not. They suggest the room they went into has enough water to make the Lost Sea have a total of 13 and a half acres of water. We're only on four and a half acres right now. And the fish down here are not natural to the lake. They are stocked fish. They are rainbow trout. They lose about 20% vision, 75% color. We keep the lights on for the fish 12 hours a day. They're not completely blind or white. The biggest fish taken out of the lake can be seen in the lobby. He is 16 pounds, 7 ounces, and 33 inches long. Wow. At the back of the lake, I will feed the fish and show you them when they're being fed. Just remain seated the entire time. Just don't stand up is all we ask. At the dock, the water is about 10 feet deep. In the middle, it's about 30 to 40. At the back, it is about 75 feet deep. And I'm going to feed the fish very shortly and show you them when they're eating. Yes, I have to feed them. If I did not feed the fish, they would starve because there is no natural food source in the lake for them to eat. So if we didn't feed them, they would go hungry. Yep. Back here, I'm going to feed them. Just remain seated and I'll turn the boat around on both sides back here so everybody can see the trout. So where are you guys from? Chicago. Chicago. Cool. My, my brother lives in Chicago. He's moving to California, but he lives in Chicago. He lives in a place called Wicker Park. He lives by he lives by a train. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. He's like this. He's like Chicago is nothing but trains. I will turn the boat around back here on both sides so everybody can see them. Just remain seated for me. So uh, you, in here raising those fish? We, yeah, we, we basically just keep them as our pets and we, and we keep restocking them uh -huh. so people can keep seeing them. Yep. Oh. 
Wow. Every, all, they not natural down here. Right? Nope, they are stocked. We, we put them in here. They're not natural at all. Uh, Nothing was ever down here. Uh, we have a lot of bus groups that come from different areas, uh, but mainly New York, and they bring about 60 to 70 um, of the Chinese people on their bu on their buses, and they've taught me a couple of Chinese words, but Ni Hao is the only one I really know, which is hello. Uh, yeah, some of them in here is uh, from uh, Taiwan and uh, Hong Kong, and some in uh, mainland China. Um, it's a 70 feet, 70, 70 feet. feet. Yep. I will turn the boat around water. now on both sides so people Take can picture? see the fish. Just do not stand up. Please remain seated. Take picture? Whoa, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, they're hungry. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, so I'm gonna vote around both sides so everybody can see the fish. <laughs> One of our fish got so excited while it was eating, it jumped out of the water on a boat on a lady's lap. She took her purse and she beat the trout to death. She took it home with her. We thought she was going to mount it on the wall and have it for a souvenir. She called the next day saying it was the worst tasting trout ever. She actually <laughs> ate the fish. We do feed the fish dog food, so they don't taste too good if you were to eat the fish. <laughs> Did everybody on both sides of the boat see the fish? Yeah. Good. You cannot see, man. Can I have the kind of light on? I need to. Uh... You didn't turn it on. Oh, look, it jumped. Let me turn on some light. I know five Chinese words. Oh, I know five. Why? I know five. I know hello is ni hao. I know uh, thank you is she she. Yeah. I know uh, goodbye is dai qian. Yeah. I know uh, yi is fish. Yeah. And I know I was told wa hai ni is I love you. Yeah. See, I know no, I know hello, thank you fish goodbye I love you. <laughs> that's the that's whole sentence. Exactly. Was that a good pronunciation? Was that, was that a pretty good pronunciation of those words? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've learned from different bus groups those five words, that's it. How it, deep this sea? Uh, 70 feet. 70, yeah. 70. Yeah. 70. Yeah. 70. Yeah. Wow. Really deep. <laughs> my, my favorite actor on the of TV is actually Chinese. I like Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Yeah, he is my favorite actor ever. <laughs> I like him. I would love to meet him. I could die happy if I met him. Oh. All right, guys, now those were the fish. Lossy did have a rock fall. It was the only rock that fell in the cave 2,000 years ago. How we know this, we had samples of drapery on the ceiling of our cave, which is a basically a formation, taken off and tested to see when this rock fell. We know thanks to the uh, testing we had done, this rock fell 2,000 years ago. It fell from along the ceiling right up through here. That's where a rock fell 2,000 years ago. Wow. Do you have the rock? <laughs> That's where a rock fell 2,000 years ago, right through there. Now you're going to see some little spikes hanging on the ceiling up here. These little spikes that you see um, are called soda straw stalactites. They get that name because they're like a regular stalactite. Only difference is they're hollow like a soda straw. You could break these off and drink out of them but they would come with a hefty fine and probably taste like rust. They would not taste too good. Oh. They say if you get dripped on in the cave, it's called a cave kiss. It's a stalactite that's dripping. It's a good luck charm in the cave. If you don't believe in good luck, the bathrooms are leaking and someone just like flushed the toilet. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Just kidding.
As we get back to the dock, remain seated until I tell you it's safe to exit. We thank you for riding on the Lost Sea, North America's largest underground lake. So uh, nobody in the other side of the lake, right? No, no one's over there. Nope. They don't, they don't go in that area because there's no air pockets. It's all just a body of water. Uh, only water? Yep. Yeah. Huh. Good luck. <laughs> I had this guy that came on my tour one time. He was a translator for one of the Chinese bus groups that we had. And he said that half of them lived in China. And I said, well, uh, what, what's your favorite place to eat in China? Like, where do you guys like to eat the most if you go out somewhere? And he said, it's very hard for Americans to pronounce. And I said, well, try it. I'll, I'll try to pronounce it if you tell me what it is. And he goes, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> of course, China has McDonald's. Every, every, everywhere on the, in the, on the globe has McDonald's. <laughs> he did tell me if you walked the Great Wall of China, it would take your whole life to walk it. That's how big, the, uh, that's how long, yeah, that, that's, that's how long it is. Right. See, I, I wouldn't do that. He asked me what my favorite Chinese food was, and I told him fortune cookies. <laughs> he goes, that's not a food, that's a dessert. I was like, I like fortune cookies. I do like the imperial chicken, though, and the wonton soup. Those are my favorite. Yeah. yeah and egg drop soup, and I like egg rolls. But I like fortune cookies. I'll eat a whole plate of fortune cookies by myself. <laughs> but if you go back to China, you, you can't find fortune cookies. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, Why not? They don't, they don't have them thing. over there? No, they don't make that's it American. There. It's an American Really? Yeah. yeah. That's not right. <laughs> I tried to eat with chopsticks one time. That didn't work. I was like, I can't eat with chopsticks. I was like poking my food with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> I have a friend. She actually is from, uh, she is from Hong Kong. And uh, she was trying to teach me how to write my name in Chinese. And I was like, how do you see Rebecca out of that? She goes, that says Rebecca. I go, no, it says line, line, dash, line, 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 line. She goes, she goes, no, it doesn't. I was like, that's what it looks like. <laughs> she hit me in the back of the head. She goes, stop making fun of me. I'm like, I'm not making fun of you, but that's, that's what a bunch of lines look like. I don't know how you get my name out of that. Yeah, it sometimes look weird. Like she actually, um, she's, my, she's my pen pal. We're friends on Facebook. I went to a convention and I, uh, a FFA convention and we met up and she's my friend on Facebook. And she, she pin pals me letters and she writes them all in Chinese and in the back of the letter she translated, translates it into English. And I was like, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me recipes for like different things that her family makes in China. And I've, I've tried making some of them, but it doesn't turn out really good at all. <laughs> I'm like, this tastes funny. She goes, you didn't make it right. I figured I didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not Chinese. I'm American. I was born in Michigan. Sorry. Yeah. You're from Michigan? Yes, I am. I am from Detroit. I lived about five minutes from the Detroit Tiger Stadium. Oh, really? I, I, I've lived in Tennessee since I was in the third grade, but I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, My whole family was is from Michigan. How are you in uh, Tennessee? Pretty nice state to live in down here, right? Do what now? Uh, the uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. I love living in Tennessee. Yes, it's nice down here. All your neighbors are really friendly and really nice. Uh, ever snow? We don't get that much snow. Uh, yes. How far back up? Yeah. That that's no that's um those are dock extensions in case the water was to drop. We can use those to get out to the docks. Oh. All right, uh, it's now yeah. safe to exit. Just watch the gap. If you like the boat ride, the exit's this way. If you did not like the boat ride, it's that way. I'm just kidding. <laughs> watch the step. Watch the step. You're very welcome. Watch the step. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. No problem.